All right, so let's talk about the update. I got an email from uh, Ledger, and uh, it, it links to this little article here about the Ledger stacks. And basically what they're saying is that we apologize for the wait. Thank you for your patience. They're building a truly innovative project. They meant to ship early in the year, uh, but they weren't able to do that. And uh, the little video here, uh, and you'll, as I mentioned, this I've linked this down in the description below. But the video, basically the issue, the main issue as to why they haven't delivered uh, they said that they were not the that the company that the third party company that were making the display for them and they didn't specify the name of the company. They said over two continents, so I'm going to assume that they were in Taiwan or China or somewhere. Uh, the company that they gave uh, the the order for making these uh, displays uh, could not. Uh, manufacture this display to scale, basically, is what they're saying. To scale, I'm assuming, means that they weren't able to create, uh, mass produce this, uh, this display. So they were able to do some prototypes, obviously, because the people there at Ledger have some already, which they're testing and upgrading, but they weren't able to manufacture enough of them to uh, allow them to start shipping them out. Uh, they had said, I think they had said early on, they, they made the, the uh, they, they said stuff like uh, not up to our standards, which made it sound like they got some deliveries, maybe of some prototypes, and they weren't up to ledger standards or like they they got a they got a bunch of them however many they got and they tested them out and said these were these are not going to work for us that was the impression that we got but this latest update says they were not able to manufacture them to scale which means that um, okay, you can make one or two, but you know we need a thousand or five thousand or ten thousand or however many they need to ship out. And this company is not able to do that. That's their excuse, right? It's, it's the display. Now, uh, what they've also said that uh, while they've been waiting, the good news is that while we've been working on the Ledger Stack screen, we've made a ton of improvements on the end-to-end -end Ledger Stacks product and experience. We've improved the touchscreen performance the battery life, and had time to work on the interactions between Ledger Stacks and Ledger Live. Our companion app where you can stake, swap, and buy, and more. Okay, that's Ledger Live. Okay, we've ported all the top Ledger Nano apps to Ledger Stacks. So, apparently, the uh, apps that run on the Stacks are not the same apps that run on the Ledger Nano X. Different architecture, different OS, maybe, uh, but they had to port all of the apps over to the Ledger stacks, which is also going to kind of be an issue when it comes to updates, because uh, generally, um, when a developer like somebody over at Polkadot, the developers over at Polkadot do updates on their blockchain. Right. And when they do those updates to the blockchain, a lot of times they'll break the functionality of their ledger app. And so after the developers uh, update the Polkadot blockchain, I'm just using them as an example, they have to update the app and re-upload it to Ledger Live. And that is why you get app updates when you launch Ledger Live. You'll see sometimes it'll, it'll just say that you need to update these apps. And if it's Solana or sometimes it's the Bitcoin app, sometimes it's the Ethereum app, sometimes it's the Polkadot app. Well, if the apps for the Ledger Nano X and the Ledger Stacks are different, then that means that when the developers update their Ledger apps, they'll have to update two different versions of the app, the Stacks version and the Ledger Live version. It was my understanding that the apps, 
uh, were the same between the Ledger Nano X and the Ledger Nano S Plus and the Ledger Nano S. They were the same apps. I could be wrong about that, but that was my assumption, was that if you made an app for a Ledger device, it was the same app. It could run on the, the Ledger Nano S, the Ledger Nano S Plus, or the Ledger Nano X. That was my understanding. It was just that the Ledger Nano S did not have as much app space, so you kind of it, it fell short as far as being ma able to manage multiple cryptos. But it was my understanding that they were that that was they were all the same. They all were interchangeable. I could be wrong about that. But from what he's saying here, it sounds like that the apps that run on the Ledger stacks are not the exact same. They can't just take the the app for the Ledger Nano X and just put it on the Ledger stacks. So that's going to introduce some complication in the the rollout of app updates, I would think. But anyway, so they're saying they've ported them all successfully. A uh, very successful round of usability testing with one of the best testing companies in the industry. He's saying that most products, when they debut, are uh, at, at version 1.0, are really version 0.9. And this delay with the screen has allowed us to deliver a product in Ledger Stacks that is truly beyond version 1.0. Well, yeah, they've had almost a year. Uh, they better be doing something, right? Thanks for sticking with us. Okay, so now here is the difference. And I thought I had switched these. Um, there are two, I got two different emails. And let's see if it's going to take me here. Yeah, you'll notice here I got two different emails. And I was kind of wondering, why did I get two different emails? Well, the difference is, is because one email is for the people that bought their Ledger stacks with their Ledger Market NFT. Uh, and the people that bought their Ledger stacks with a, their Ledger Market NFT will get uh, a free Ledger Nano S Plus from our new Color Capsule collection in addition to the exclusive Ledger Stacks magnet shell that's already included with your order. So that's the difference. Notice? So if you just pre-ordered a Stacks from uh, Ledger directly, or you ordered, you pre-ordered one through Best Buy, I think there were people that actually ordered them as a pre-order from Best Buy, maybe Amazon as well. Uh, those, those orders are only getting the free uh case. But if you use the Ledger Market NFT to pre-order your Ledger stacks, you will get not only the case, but in addition to that, a free Ledger Nano S Plus, which is kind of cool. So that's pretty decent news. Thanks again for your patience. So once again, they claim the problem is the screen, and it's not them it's their third-party manufacturer that cannot produce these screens to scale and, and live up to their standards, right? But uh, they've been doing a lot of testing and improvement in-house uh, on the prototype models that they have, uh, claiming that uh, it's going to be, uh, you know, a very well-tested device when it finally hits the market. Yeah, uh, and uh, Skyfall is, is bringing up the fact that uh, they shouldn't have made the promise. Uh, I don't know uh, what information they had. Uh, perhaps they thought that everything was going to be hunky-dory and that they were going to get everything delivered. Uh, and so they started doing these pre-sales. Um, it seems to be quite a... Um, a screw up as far as thinking they were going to have something done. I don't know if it was what they would call wishful thinking, uh, but uh, apparently they uh, did not realize how difficult making the screen was going to be in practice, I guess. Uh, because when uh, they announced the stacks, I mean, seemed to be that they were on the top of the world. They figured they had the greatest crypto wallet out there. And had they delivered in March of this year, uh, they probably would have 
sold quite a few of these devices. This was before they announced Ledger Recover Service, which really uh, just kind of destroyed their reputation as a, a crypto-centric company uh, because uh, managing people's private keys for them is not really the spirit of a crypto wallet company. Um, so anyway, yeah, yeah, kind of a screw up as far as their expectations and, you know, taking their customers' money and then not delivering uh, is one thing, but the, the dead silence that uh, from between March and now, um, here it is, August, uh, March is the third month, uh, August is the eighth month, so five months of ghosting their um, customers that prepaid for their, uh, seems to be more of a screw up than the actual you know, mismanagement of the third party uh, delivery window, right? But anyway, I wanted to bring that up for you guys. Uh, they've finally given us an update. They're claiming it's the screen is the issue. Uh, they've done a lot of in-house improvement. Uh, we already knew we were getting these magnetic cases. Um, the, uh, the, the main thing is that now they've decided to throw in the Ledger Nano S Plus with people that use the um, market NFT to make their purchase. And I don't know, that can't be a huge amount of people that, that use the market NFT to make their purchase. I don't know what their numbers are. 